Thank you very much, Courtney. I want to give you a preview of the Chocoholics Buffet happening April 20th at the Gates on Roblin. Our buddy Drew Koza spending this morning at Cafe Sassoir looking at one of the vendors you're going to try out there. Good morning, Drew. Good morning, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, Cafe Sassoir. If you're wondering about this place, you're like, oh, I haven't heard of that one. It's, it's pretty new. It's about uh, three months old on Portage right across from Deluca. So this is definitely okay. a spot that you're going to want to check out. Uh, a great place to come uh, with some friends and hang out because they are open late on weeknights. So if you want to come in, uh, maybe do a, a late night coffee with some uh, people and enjoy some delicious food, this is the place to do it. I was already sold when you showed us earlier that they had a uh, chocolate with chili's creme brulee, so I'm in. What else I'm they a got big on the menu? Well, okay, I'm a big fan of the uh, creme brulee, but oh uh, Cam has some amazing concoctions and he's going to be showing us his chocolate mousse infused with raspberry right away. Man, that sounds good. I know, it sounds good, especially because I helped out on this one. And Cam was very cap careful to make sure I didn't ruin anything. So that's what we're going to be showing you in uh, just a couple of minutes. But first, let's talk a little bit about the big event. So uh, Anna, you are putting together a fantastic thing. And we've got some great partners on board to make sure that this is delicious, delectable, and unforgettable. Because this is a, a grown-ups only night of chocolate celebration, correct? It is, it is. We have some wonderful partners, both restaurants, bakeries, caterers, and then we have the sponsors. Everything for the event is being donated. No kidding, because this is a fundraiser for United Way, so it's good to get these uh, people on board who are going to be sharing this stuff and being very generous. So uh, who are some of the, the folks that we'll get to see down there? Well, we have All Season Catering, Benjamin's Gourmet Foods out of Selkirk, uh -huh. Cakeology, Chocolates and Bakery, Elements Restaurant at the nice. U of W. Ben Kramer? Um, yep. Ben Kramer and uh, Lilac Bakery, Fried Green Tomatoes, which is a catering company as well here in town. Cool. And uh, Joe Black Coffee Bar is doing a spiked hot cocoa bar oh, just nice. for us adults. So we're not uh, talking just uh, dessert uh, sort of things. It's dessert drinks. It's all, all different forms of chocolate that can be celebrated and enjoyed. Exactly. And uh, we got uh, about 14 people on board right now. Uh, and the, the event is still uh, more than a month away. So uh, what's it going to look like that night up? How many people are you hoping to have? Well, we're hoping to have about 30 vendors participating with 30 different dessert choices. Oh, boy. And it's all going to be chocolate, something chocolate. I love it. Three hours of chocolate decadence and indulgence. And uh, Cam, we got to see uh, your creation, the chili chocolate creme brulee. Uh, let's talk a little bit about what you got going on for us right now. So this one is the one you're helping out with is the chocolate raspberry mousse. Now we're at the very important stage of this because uh, you've done a lot of work to get it all ready to go. Now we just need to make sure that we get those raspberry seeds out of the chocolate, which Correct. is a pretty simple process, right? It's very simple. All you have to do is take a strainer, an extra bowl, mm -hmm. just pour it right in, scoop all the chocolate, And this chocolate sauce we infuse with fresh raspberries, uh, like right out of the package. We put uh, fresh raspberries in there, pureed them, so that's going to have that good, authentic chocolate goodness. So while this chocolate mousse is straining, let's talk about uh, when we come visit you um, outside of uh, the Chocoholics event. What sorts of things are on your menu? What sorts of things can so we expect? On the menu itself, you're going to expect lots of pastries. That's what I'm known for in training France. So yeah. everything you're going to see a lot of. Simple traditional French pastry from France and also some of my new uh, creation as well. Okay, so, so uh, we can get that sort of like authentic uh, French baking taste to it, but you also like to change things up in a pretty significant way. Tell me a little bit about that. I do. Um, I like to make all my stuff from scratch, but I also want to be the person that explores around the world and offer people that never done before or tried. Uh -huh. So like on a Tuesday, I have exotic fish, meat, and different items. So this week, I was offering crocodiles for people just to try if they never have done it before. So you can come to Cafe Cesoir and eat crocodile? And eat crocodile on a special occasion when I get it employed. So every Tuesday, it's a change. So it could be next week. It could be sea urchin. It could be sea cucumber. It could be kangaroo. It could be anything. So uh, crocodile, kangaroo, sea urchin, sea cucumber, whatever is unique and exotic, uh, you'll be able to track it down and uh, whip it up for whip us. Whip it up and people have never done it before. And one time I served turtle. Turtle? Okay, so, so you, you just don't know what's going to be happening <laughs> on a Tuesday night at Cafe Cesar. If you want more information about the restaurant or details about the first annual Chocoholics Buffet, just go to our website at breakfasttelevision.ca. We have plenty more to show you from the restaurant, but right now you can check in with Sean Greck to get your current weather conditions.